Warning, this video and subsequent series will include data mined information. If you do not want to hear about the data mined information, please skip to the timestamp in the description below. Hello guys, and welcome back to another Dizod 500 video. And in this video, we're going to be going over which track is more likely to possibly come as the mystery track in Wave 6. We're going to go over two wheat tracks that I think are very unlikely. I see these tracks having no chance, but you never know. This booster course pass is heavily featured, or I'm not featured, but fixated on wheat tracks, but I'll uh, keep my anger to myself. Let's continue. So the tracks here, Daisy Circuit and Dry Dry Ruins. Why do I think these ones are so unlikely? I doubt that Nintendo is going to want to put eight tracks from Wii in the Booster Course Pass, especially when Wii fans are like going on on N64 fans for saying, oh, well, you should be happy at having uh, six tracks, but I don't think my seven in just the Booster Course Pass is enough, but whatever, I'm going to continue. Daisy Circuit and Dry Dry Ruins, both highly unlikely, especially if Wii Rainbow Road comes. Uh, if there were to be a BCP2, I don't see them coming. Actually, so uh, yeah, let's just go over to which one's more likely. The main knock against Daisy Circuit, and I guess also Dry Dry Ruins, they're both the Wii track, but for Daisy Circuit especially, is that it isn't a particularly hard course. Like, it is in the Star Cup, it is the ninth track in Mario Kart Wii, but like, it's also very easy, especially when you're playing on a Switch Pro controller as opposed to a Wii remote, so, yeah, I just, I just can't see, they, why would they put this in Wave 6, and the main knock against Strategy Ruins is that it's a desert track, this also, uh, spoilers, by the way, from my last video, this is also the main knock against Yoshi Desert from the last video, is, they're not gonna put in a desert track right after they put in a desert track, Sunset Wild. Especially when people didn't like Sunset Wilds. I don't think they would throw in Yoshi Desert or Dry Dry Ruins. But you never know with Mario Kart Wii and no, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I don't know. This is why I don't want Funky Kong in Wave 6 either. But uh, continuing on, we gotta have this show running. Why do I think they might have a slim chance? Well, Daisy Circuit, because everyone's freaking predicting it. People are going all over the news, going all over the streets, putting signs up. They're protesting for Daisy Circuit. <laughs> Not really, but like. And for Dry Dry Ruins, while it is a really hard course, and it is a good course, I would like Dry Dry Ruins if it wasn't a Wii track. If, let's say, Dry Dry Ruins was from DS, I'd be happy. But since it's from Wii... I wouldn't be, because we don't need more Wii tracks, okay? Even four would have been fine. We don't need Moonview Highway. We don't need um, DK Summit. We don't need Maple Tree Way. You could remove those tracks, and fine, we're fine here. We don't even need Rainbow Road. We could just end it off with 3DS, but... Okay, I just gotta stop, like, going all over Wii fans. And... So, yeah, I think... If I were to have to put one of them to say it was more likely, Dry Dry Ruins. But they're both, both very, very unlikely. 